Hi everyone, this is Lizanne Campagna Douglas, your Norwex Independent Consultant. Today I wanted to come on to show you some of our best pro products to clean your fruits and vegetables. So here we have our uh, fresh produce wash and our fruit and veggie scrub cloth, which um, is double sided. So I love this product. I use it so often that it just sits on my uh, counter at all times. Um, and when we're about to eat fruits and veggies, you just we just spray it right on the fruit, wait a few minutes, and then rinse um, the fruit. Such as, so we have little tomatoes. Um, you would just directly spray on the fruit. I just kind of swish it around. And then I just let it sit on my counter for a minute while I do my uh, food prep, and then rinse it out. What's great about this product is that it's uh, entirely natural, and it doesn't have an aftertaste. So when you're um, about to, when you rinse out your fruit, you don't have that vinegary taste or cider taste if that's what you're using to wash your fruits. Um, so it's really great for that. And it's awesome at removing pesticides. It can remove the dirt, the fingerprints, the, the, the wax off your fruits and vegetables um, to make them really taste really fresh. So I just want to show you what the difference is between cleaning your fruits and veggies with water versus our produce wash. So in this bowl, I put um, about the same amount of fruit, so blueberries and strawberries. Um, and then I'm going to just add water to this one. Most people either don't rinse at all or just quickly rinse. They don't soak their fruit. They just rinse it under the hot water in the container it comes in and then call it a day. So I just want to show you. So I've quickly... So this is me, my, the water result. So you see that this water is still clean. There's no deposit at the bottom and there's nothing really floating around. Um, so this is my fruits cleaned with water. Now we're gonna use the produce wash. So what you wanna use is about a tablespoon for each, for two cups of water. So if you're doing it in a soak, so I just wanna show you how this is, this doesn't have a color, okay? So just so that you see, this doesn't have a tint at all. Um, so there's no dye or nothing in there. So I just used one tablespoon. And usually what I do is I soak it in a big tub. So when I come home from the market or from the grocery store, I put it in my tub and I fill it up with water and fruit and dilute it in there. I use my netted dishcloth only because it's easy to strain afterwards um, and lay it out on my... Uh, kitchen towel to let it air dry but just for the purpose of the demonstration I'm just going to so this is option B is to spray directly on the fruit so you can spray directly on the fruit and kind of swish it around to make sure it gets on everywhere and then I'm going to just add a little bit of water and you'll see it foaming up so it's almost like a soap so it's cleaning your fruit in there so you want to make sure you have enough water to cover your fruit. And then I would do the same. So I would just, I'm just going to dump this into the sink here. Um, so we have an empty glass. So while this soaks, I usually let it soak at least two minutes. Um, but sometimes, especially for fruit that are not organic. So I got organic strawberries, but uh, fruits that are not organic that would have a lot more pesticides and things on it, I would let soak a good five minutes. Um, so in the meantime, while this soaks, I'm going to present to you our cloth. So this is our fruit and veggies cloth, and it's double-sided, as you can see. So it's got a very uh, rough side, which is great to wash your potatoes, carrots, anything with a rougher skin. Um, I also use it on cantaloupes and melons. So anything that you want uh, to... I, I use it on everything that I'm going to eat, uh, even if it has a skin. Yes, because... Um, this cantaloupe was picked by somebody somewhere, put into a truck, and then picked by somebody else to put on a shelf, and knew, who knows how many people touched this before it came into my home. So do I really want to go and cut through there and grab all that dirt and put it onto the piece of fruit that I'm about to eat? No thank you. So I uh, clean everything, banana peels, uh, avocados, mangoes, cantaloupes, melons, everything. So all I do is just, you just rinse it out uh, underwater. 
And I'm not going to use the produce wash on this one only because I'm going to peel, uh, I'm not going to eat the, the, the peel. So I'm going to just scrub it with the rough side and um, that's all I would do for my melons. Um, the other side is a little softer. So this is great for, uh, so this is great for the, the fruits or veggies that have a softer skin that you don't want to like scratch, such as tomatoes. So your tomatoes, your apples, um, your mangoes, for example. So anything like that, I would use the softer side and the same thing. I would just rinse underwater and just use that side to really get, to get rid of all the wax and the fingerprints and everything, uh, the oily, the, the dirt, everything that was on my fruit is now gone. So you can see how shiny it is. So this is great to remove that waxy taste from apples so that, that they taste fresh. So again, another one of my tools that I love. So it always hangs on to my cabinets um, just so that we can use it. We use it that often. So here we probably have been soaking for about a minute or so. So I'm just going to dump this water um, in our cup here, just so that you can see the difference. So here we have our produce wash water, as you can see it's quite cloudy, and it's got a bunch of little deposits at the bottom here. So you have things floating around, there's dirt in there, there's, I don't even know what that is. Um, so would you really want to drink this cup of water? No right so why would you want to eat your fruit with it on it with this on it so this is the difference right here you see the difference in the color of the water so this one is absolutely disgusting and it took maybe two minutes okay so the difference can be seen um so if i grab one blueberry from here and a blueberry from our rinse with water i don't know if you can tell um really great on the screen but on the blueberries, you have that white film. Do you see this white film here? That's pesticides. Um, so with water, it's not getting removed. Um, with our produce wash, this blueberry now looks black to me. Um, it's so clean. It has no white deposit left on this uh, blueberry. So it's really amazing and great to make your food taste fresh and to really deep clean, right? So there you have it. And this is for our... Um, produce wash and my tomatoes um, that I sprayed on, I would just rinse out again uh, under the sink. And what's great is there's no aftertaste and uh, it really makes your food, your food taste fresh. So there you have it. And this is for our produce wash and our uh, veggie and fruit scrub cloth. Thanks guys. Bye.